What's up guys? Steve here with Scotch and Things. Sorry it's been a minute since I posted the video. Just had some stuff going on and just didn't really have time. So, But I ordered this a couple weeks ago and just got home and here it is. I've got some other knives that I'll be posting here. Some other unboxings shortly, but I wanted to get into this one because I'm going to start using it right away. And it is a hinderer. I know. Oh, look at that. Candy. So this comes from I've mentioned them before, one of my preferred places to buy, but uh, e-knives. They send you a little band-aid and sticker and kind of funny. Um, but, you know, and you get a little hand handwritten note, which is really nice too. You know, they thank you for their support. Um, and they personalize it. It's not, I mean, they even wrote down what night, you know, hope, we, hope you enjoy the XM18. So definitely... A nice place to buy from one that I recommend and this obviously if you look by the box is a three inch this is a three inch Warncliffe triway in the working finish I really like the working finish um you kind of know it's like and here you go you get sticker who tuned it who made it Amanda she seems to make a lot of knives there there's your extra washers your tactical peanuts um I don't, it's almost like I have a love-hate relationship with Hinderer knives. Um, not that I hate them, I love them. But it just seems to like be, always be one of those knives I get in and I don't hold on to them long because I know it's something I can trade into something else or sell if I need to. Um, they're just always kind of around. But this came up and I, I'd sold my 3-inch that I got last year a while ago. Um... And this is a blade shape. I've never had like a worn cliff blade like this before. And honestly, I always, I know guys love them in the Hinder groups. I love the G10. I love the Hinder's G10. Um, what do we got there? 20 CV. Nice and sharp. But I thought this would be a great small knife. And I don't know. To me, though, like I wouldn't have. This popped up and it was a three inch and I, I wanted a, another three inch Hinder. I don't know if I would have chose the Warncliffe blade. Um, honestly, I like I said, I don't have much experience with them. But for some reason, they just look kind of funny on the Hinderer. It, you know, they're just, it's kind of like a, almost like a smaller petite looking blade for such a big handle. Um, but I thought this might be a nice, you know, a nice little knife to carry and for some cuts like that and stuff so we will give it a go Ugh. i i do miss having my three inch um xm and i really was kind of like i said kind of indifferent to the worn cliff blades i thought they always looked kind of out of place on a hinderer on an xm I don't know why that's just that's just me it just looks unproportional if that makes sense um but yeah i mean great i mean you know i mean hinders they're made great guys so there's no nothing new there and maybe this one will stick around for a while like i said i it's i call it like a love-hate relationship i keep getting them in but then it's something i, I know i can I can move along if I need to or want to, if I'm not carrying it. If I end up not carrying it very much, I know it's something like I'll just move it on to someone else who can enjoy it, and then I'll get the itch, and I always seem to be bringing another one in. So, kind of cool. Excited to try this blade shape out and see how I like it. Um, other than that, I mean, yeah, like I said, like, I've, that other three inch I had, I, I did like that. I like, you know, the choil on a three inch. You can really, you know, the knife just practically disappears in your hands. So 
we will see. And I love um, the working finish. I love just that that working finish on Hinderer. So I think that's kind of what keeps drawing me back. But uh, yeah, I'm going to flip that clip and we will give her a whirl. See how it how it does. Like I said, I think it'll be a useful blade shape for, you know, making cuts and stuff like that. It's just, I don't know, it just looks off a little bit. But, hey, who knows? Maybe I'll end up loving it. Let me know what you think down below. Uh, comment down below what you think of the warning on the, on the hinderer. Is it just me? Am I crazy for thinking that? I don't know. But uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.